What's up YouTube? Uh, I'm going to show you how to get the best quality from your Hotpock HDP VR on a PC. I already did a tutorial on how to do it on a Mac, so I figured I'd do one on a, on a PC too since a lot of people use PC. So when you order your Hotpock, you should have got this program on, on a CD that came with it. Total Media Extreme, that's what we're going to be using to record um, the capture capture video from our TV. And you just want to click on record video right there and get the screen all right uh make sure h hotbug hdpvr capture device is selected from this list and let's let's click refresh all right it's running from component cables so make sure y p r p b that's component cables r c a a bag that's pretty much what you're gonna be using uh for the audio and then two channel stereo that's pretty much common all right first thing you want to do is uh, click the save format as M2TS. Um, all of these are good. They provide really good quality. There's a minimal difference in all of them, but I found that M2TS gives you the best for, uh, best quality, right? So select that. First thing we want to do is click on device settings. Uh, click default for all of this, and then go to video decoder and make sure the video standard is NTSCM. And you could just check both of these. Click OK and then go into format settings. And in format settings, this is where it's going to increase your quality, all right? All right, now you want to click a uh, quality bitrate. You want to make that 13.5, right? Make sure it says that in this box right here. And make sure it's constant bitrate right here. Uh, uncheck this box if it's checked. And this is optional. This is only for the LEDs that light up when you're recording. I turn them off. Um, for Luma and Chroma, you want to um, make them both zero. That will turn them off and what Luma and Chroma is I'm not really sure about that but one of them is kind of like a motion blur filter and the other one is like a color something with color I think it's like gamma levels or something so you just want to turn those off because uh, the more your video is going to go through filters the more it's going to get distorted and the quality is going to worsen I guess uh, and make sure to use AC3 audio encoder click apply OK and you're ready to record and I already have uh, a tutorial uh, tutorial clip alright right here and that's what we're gonna be using to edit I already recorded it in this program so let's open up Sony Vegas that's, that's what I'm gonna be using for the editing once it opens up I'm gonna open up the file and we're gonna go through the whole process of rendering and color correction that type of stuff alright alright when the program opens you wanna open up your file that you recorded all right. Uh, just building peaks or something like that. All right. I don't know why these white lines are here, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um. All right. Let's get on with it. All right. First, you want to do click project properties. Uh, project properties. Uh, make the width 1280, height 720, it's going to give you 720p quality. Uh, it's P, that stands for progressive scan, so click none. Pixel aspect ratio is 1, output rotation is 0. Frame rate is 59.94, which is what you record at. Pixel format is 8. Uh, full resolution quality is best. Motion blur is Gaussian, even though uh, that's going to change in a little bit. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean. And deinterlace, we're not deinterlacing, so just leave it at none. All right, click apply and OK. Next thing you want to do is right click your clip and click properties. You want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and then select disable resample. What resampling is, is basically Sony Vegas does this automatic motion blur, and we want to erase that because it looks horrible in the end. All right, so select disable resample, disable resample, and uncheck maintain aspect ratio because that's not going to really help us at all. Click OK. Next thing we're going to do is click this little white box. It says event pan and crop. And what this is going to do is there's these little uh, black lines around around the video. What we want is even that out. All right. And I have a, uh, two things titled even spacing and even black lines are basically the same thing. Uh, to even out the black lines, you want to make the X center 638.5 and the Y center 361. Uh, you may have to play around with it, but I found that uh, 
this makes all the black lines even so I think anyone who records with the hot pocket will get the same results so I think that's a good that's a good preset 638.5 for X center 361 for Y center alright next thing we're gonna do is some basic color correction and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go into the video effects tab and click color corrector we're gonna drag and drop the studio RGB to computer RGB preset on the and then we can exit it out next we're gonna go on the color corrector secondary clip and uh, drag and drag and drop the studio RGB to computer RGB again okay uh, now we're just gonna add a little bit bit a li little bit of sharpness you could either only click the reset to none that's gonna give you a little bit of sharpness I like to put 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 most of the time I use 0 0.01 so if you don't have this preset yet drag down the reset to none and then choose in 0 0.01 all right enter and then you could uh, exit that out all right uh, this is important this is the final step in the in the process you wanna make sure this is like uh, checked not, not checked but clicked this is bypass motion blur this is gonna erase all any motion blur that's in the clip all right and that's gonna give you a little bit smoother text and smoother uh, overall you know graphics okay so that's that's we're done with the clip now we could render uh, you could always go to click this button right here the little blue icon or you can go to file render as all right all right I'm gonna save this to my desktop as tutorial clip okay the type you want to save it as is Sony AVC alright uh, this is gonna be on one of the templates just click default template I already have a template set up but just click default template and click custom uh, now what you want to do is click the video format and make sure it's AVC high definition 1280 by 720 is your size uncheck allow source to adjust frame rate and uncheck allow source to adjust frame rate frame size frame rate sorry uncheck both of those boxes because we're doing everything manually so it wouldn't help us at all the profile you only have one option baseline entropy coding is CABAC alright uh, frame rate it, it's kind of a toss up right here alright you could either make it your original one which is uh, uh, 59 59 point I'm gonna check that right now okay 59.94 right alright 59.94 that would be your original one that that your source clip is and that's gonna take a long time to render you could do this it's not a problem at all but if you're gonna be putting this up on YouTube YouTube is gonna convert it to 30 frames per second anyway so what I was just doing is uh, making it either 30 frames per second okay if you uh, do that it's gonna give you this number or you're gonna you could um, click this little arrow right here and click NTSC right because 59.94 is double NTSC and if you're doing NTSC you're just uh, cutting out half of the frames basically you're only rendering every other frame alright so you could either um, <clears throat> do 30 or 29.97 I usually do 30 uh, just to get the maximum but uh, you know, it, you really can't go wrong with it. Either 30 or 29.97. The file size is the same. Um, really minimal difference in quality. I can't really even see the difference. So, this okay. If you want to be safe, just leave it at um, 29.97 NTSC. Uh, and check this box. Field order is progressive scan. This pixel aspect ratio is one. Now the bit rate. Uh, we recorded at 13.5 megabits per second so that translates into 13 million five hundred thousand bits per second alright okay let me just uh, click OK and I'm gonna go you see it says 13.5 megabits per second right that's what it translates into bits per second so that's why we're gonna use that to get the highest quality because that's exactly what we, we recorded with if you wanna render a higher bit rate that's that's okay but it's really pointless because it won't increase the quality and it will make the file size larger because it's kind of like stretching the pixels to, the data is not there so you you can't really put in the data of like put it 15 million it'll make the clip 15 15 bits per second but your data is only 13.5 so there's really no point all right so make it 13 million five hundred thousand then you go into audio uh 
uh, total media extreme records in 48,000 hertz uh, for the sample rate, 128,000 uh, bit rate, and make the make audio format AAC, and this is stereo. All right. For the system tab, uh, make sure the file format is MP4. All right. You have a little bit options here, so just click MP4. Most important, mm, most important thing is go to project, project tab, and make sure the video rendering quality is set at best. Click OK, and you're set to go. All right. So that's it, everybody. If you want to see a, a sample of this, how this quality looks like, uh, click the annotation. Click anywhere on the screen right now, and it'll take you to the video, and you can see how this quality will, will turn out. So, hope you guys have a good day, and I hope you enjoy this video. See ya.